Well, a complete meal at a theater near you, the lunchbox leaves you hungry and asking you for more country, obsessed with food. We all love our food. I mean, watching this movie was making me hungry, but we've never had food films. So do you think that we, the time has come that we want to tell our own stories? I think what Ritesh did was very efficiently create uh, the, the, the Daba service phenomenon and the food aspect as, as its backdrop. And you know, actually, at heart it's even more than a love story, you know, so this is just an efficient backdrop. But at heart it's about loving, it's about longing, it's about our day-to-day -day life and um, how important and critical true love is for you to really go through the beats of a day is what really the lunchbox is about. It's about like the importance of love in our lives and how you must attain it at whatever cost. And, or, and if it doesn't come your way, then seek it out. Uh, in the sense, I think that that is what I came back home with. Like for people who are not in love and are not in a strong relationship, this is a big slap on your face, a film like Lunchbox, because it reminds you about how important love is. We have started uh, making films on our own subjects, on our own stories. There's so many people who are now trying to buy rights of books. And uh, this is, uh, this is now filmmakers are looking for stories from our own culture, our own uh, you know, society. That's a great sign. And you play a lonely old man in the movie. Firstly, I want to I ask you what... <laughs> we see you playing the old man in... Yeah, I in think the uh, this is something that... I'm destined to play old. I think I'm destined to uh, discover my old oldness uh, before time because when I got the first part in my life, I was, I was maybe 14 or 12, I was given an old man's part. So this is something, you know, I, uh, and for a good story, I can play old, I can play child, I can play... Uh, you know, woman. And also, this movie changes the perception of a festival movie. Lunchbox to me is by no means of what you know as a festival film or an art house film. It is a connective love story. And I believe a love story will travel across the world like it already has. Because the one thing that I took back from the Lunchbox, and proudly so, is that it's the one film made by an Indian, quintessentially Indian, and not deriding the country we come from. This is a one film that should travel and definitely bring home every accolade that actually deserves. Karan, you've been associating with movies like that. You've <coughs> said like it's your endeavor to associate with films like that. They're not necessarily the genre that you work on. So do, will we see something with food in your next? Well, of course, if the script comes to me, then why not? To me, I'm happy to produce any film I love. Be it about food, be it about love, be it about loss, be it about anything. Uh, the thing is all about, like, like Irfan said, it's about the story, it's about the script, it's about the narrative. And it's about the person telling you that story. And I'm really like, I'm all about it. Unfortunately, every time I get a script, invariably it opens with like, wide shot of Manhattan <laughs> or, or, you know, <laughs> London Bridge. There's this thing that, you know, and I just want to put it out there that with the way the dollar and the pound is, I ain't going to those places anymore. <laughs> exactly. Okay, on a lighter note, what's that one thing that you always hoped would be in your lunchbox but never found? I never found the letter. <laughs> <laughs> I think food would just get cold, yeah. <laughs> by the time I would get to school and by the time the time would come to eat it, it would just be cold. It's been a strange part of my history in school. So it's, it's what won me over my first best friend. Uh, because uh, he never was given a chocolate brownie by his mother and mine only fed me those. So <laughs> eventually he said, I'll sit with you if you make me eat your brownie, which used to come in my lunchbox. Uh, so that's how, and my, oddly and ironically, that my best friend I made at the age 10 because of the chocolate brownie I shared with him, he's the CEO of my company today. Thank you so much. All the very best and well, I hope there are much, many more lunchboxes delivered to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Thanks a lot.